Back to the death of Andrew Brown Jr. in the investigation. The feelings of frustration and anger are not isolated to Brown's family. Many people in the community say the DA's response was not enough. So they're coming together to protest peacefully downtown. Connor Real explains how it's impacting the local economy in Elizabeth City. Elizabeth City Pizza Company was coming off their best week yet. We were like, could not have been on more of a high. Then Andrew Brown Jr. was shot and killed by deputies and the city cried out in pain and frustration. When you see it happen in the, the big cities, it seems so um, distant. You know, you feel for the families, you try to understand why this happened, but it was very distant. So when it happened here, it was like, so what are, what are we supposed to do? Kendall Taylor owns Elizabeth City Pizza with her husband. What they did was shut down for a day. We closed down just one day, one evening, because we thought that might be the respectful thing to do. When 2020 started, Kendall and her husband had been operating an oyster bar. They eventually had to close up due to COVID, but then they opened up the pizza shop and it seemed the worst had passed. It's been a really lovely place to be um, during very hard times. Then they began to feel the effects of a city's unrest. Financially, we were affected. Um, you know, we lost a lot of business because, you know, people not sure what to do, not sure whether to come downtown. It seemed like the worst was yet to come with a collective initiative to not spend money in Elizabeth City on Wednesdays. Then Wednesday started. We were really busy. You know, people just want answers, but they also still want to support the small businesses and they want to support their friends and they want. I'm Connor Real, 13 News Now.